Hi guys and welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Jen and today I'm going to share with you what I have purchased for my family for Valentine's Day. A few of you guys have reached out to me and asked for me to share that this year so I figured I would just show you what I purchased for my three children and my husband for Valentine's Day. I will let you know I love purchasing gifts for my family so um, I did buy them like a lot of nice stuff I think and as far as my husband we typically do not exchange gifts for Valentine's Day, but this year I am surprising him with something, so I will show that to you at the end. But typically we just go out to dinner and that is our gift to each other, it is a nice night out. So anyway, I'm going to start with um, what I purchased for my youngest daughter, Madison. She is eight years old and I have this really cute Disney princess bag and it comes with like stickers. I think there's a sticker sheet here with all the princesses, really cute. So we have an upcoming trip to Disney World very soon, so everyone is getting something that has um, Mickey Mouse or just Disney related in general. So I got her these really cute Minnie Mouse socks. They were on clearance at Target for like four or five dollars I think and they're really cute little ankle socks so she's getting those. Of course some chocolate because all Valentine's Day gifts must include some sort of a candy treat so she's going to be getting those. These are Hershey Kisses and two of my three children have peanut Trina allergies so it's really tricky trying to find chocolate that is safe for them and the Hershey Kisses are so that was good. And these adorable coffee mugs. They say, I'll, I'll always love you, but it says owl. You can see that really cute. And then it has the owls at the side. These I've had for a few years. I actually use them um, in the kitchen. I just usually leave them out this time of year, but I found that we weren't using them really at all because they're rather big. So I am gifting them to my children with something cute. So they each have their own mug and they likely will use them. So I have these little marshmallows that I also picked up from Target. They're strawberry heart marshmallows and my daughter loves marshmallows. Like she'll just take a bag and eat them if I let her. So I thought that was something fun to include with a little thing of hot chocolate. So I thought that made a really cute little gift idea. She can make herself some cocoa with the marshmallow hearts. And if you guys know my daughter Madison, she is obsessed with funky headbands and I thought this one was really cute. It's from Claire's and it has like these little donuts on top and she is also obsessed with Dunkin' Donuts. So I thought this was very appropriate. Um, she really likes these and I'm sure she will wear this definitely. The funkier the better. Like she loves wearing really uh, fun headbands. And she also loves squishies and I like these a lot. These are actually one of her favorite type too because they kind of feel velvety, like they're soft rather than that plasticky rubbery feel. And they're called Soft and Slow Squishies. These are velvet squishies and they're super cute. And this little guy is coming out of an ice cream cone, which I think is really adorable. And she's gonna be excited to receive this. To go along with the donut theme, I just got her a couple of cute little like sports bras and something that she likes to wear anyway underneath her clothing just to be extra covered up. So um, I just thought they were cute because they did match the headband. And I also got these on clearance at Target and she'll need them for our upcoming trip to Disney. So that worked out well. And then finally, I just want to show you the cards that I got from the dollar store. They're so pretty. And this one just says, Valentine, you're one of a kind. And it has a unicorn on it. And then just says, wishing you a magical day. So that is everything that I purchased for my eight-year-old daughter, Madison. I think she's gonna be really excited to receive all of those things for Valentine's Day. Okay, so now I'll show you what I purchased for my son, Patrick. Um, and I'm just like reusing some gift bags that I already had. So I know this isn't very masculine, but he's really not gonna care about the bag. He's gonna care more about what's inside the bag. <laughs> and I'll start off with another uh, Disney kind of thing that I got because when we were shopping at Target last week, we were looking at the Disney t-shirts and he said he actually would wear this one. And at the time they didn't have his size. So when I went back, they did have his size. So I picked it up for him. It's just a basic gray t-shirt with Mickey Mouse on it. And um, he'll wear it on our upcoming trip. So I got that for him. This is my other peanut allergy child. So I ended up getting him um, some of these gummy bears in a heart shaped box, really cute. He likes gummy bears and they are safe for him. Sorry if you hear all of the noise going on outside. There's like a wind down or something and the 
phone companies here and trucks and it's just like, there's never a good time to film. There's always something going on. So I'm sorry if that's disruptive. Um, okay, and I also got him some Hershey Kisses just in this little tube with the heart on top because I know he can eat those as well. Now, he also has one of these cute mugs, but what I got to go with it, I love these, they're such a great idea. They're these little um, confetti cake little like it's like a coffee mug that you put the cake mix in and you cook it in the microwave they're really neat my children have had this before in the past as a special treat and they love them so i just thought this is really fun he's gonna like it a lot and it's so simple to make let me just tell you what you do you just pour the cake mix pouch in here with three tablespoons of water and you put it in the microwave <laughs> and it's done. You mix it up and eat it. So I think he'll like this a lot. And finally, since again, it's tricky getting things for my peanut allergy kids, I got him Stewart's root beer. He loves bottled root beer. It's like one of his favorite things. And we don't keep soda in the house at all ever, unless it's like a birthday party or a special holiday or something. We don't typically have soda in the house. So this is going to be a special treat for him. He has four bottles of root beer. So I just thought that was a fun like boy gift. If you have a son who really likes soda and it's not something that you let them have all the time, Valentine's Day is a fun day to allow that. And then I got him a cute card also from the Dollar Tree. And this just says, I woof you with the dog and have a perfect Valentine's Day. <laughs> so anyway, my son loves our dogs and I think he'll think this card is really cute. And speaking of dogs, I got this two pack of dog bones for our dogs, Leo and Chester. They love these like little plastic bones and they have one that they fight over all the time. So I thought this would be a cute little Valentine's Day gift for my dogs. And then here is everything that I got for my oldest daughter, Emily. And I neglected to say my son, Patrick, is 14 years old. Um, my daughter, Emily, is 16. And let me show you what she is going to be getting for Valentine's Day. So she has matching socks to go with Madison socks and they have Minnie Mouse on them. Really cute again, just like the adult size of the same socks. So I thought that would be fun. They could wear matching Minnie Mouse socks on their trip. And then I bought her this um, body lotion that she wanted. It is the Sugar and Rose Peace and Glow Creamy Body Scrub. It's by Beauty and Planet. And it smells really good and it's very appropriate for Valentine's Day because it is like a rose scent. So I just thought that was a nice teenage girl type of a gift, something that she'll definitely use. From the Dollar Tree, I got her this little bag of Godiva. I think there's just like maybe even one chocolate heart in here, but I was surprised that the Dollar Tree sold Godiva chocolate. So I picked that up for her. And then I also got her this, it's just like a little coaster, but she does bring drinks up to her room and she has nice furniture. So I thought she could use a coaster in her bedroom. And it says, today is a good day to have a great day. And I just thought it was really cute. I got it from the dollar store as well. And then I got her these little facial cleansing towelettes. These are her favorite ones from Burt's Bees and they're travel size. So she'll be able to pack that for our upcoming trip. And then I got her a little box of chocolates. These are the Ghirardelli chocolates and they look really good. I'll show you the variety that they have inside. They are the Sweethearts Premium Chocolate Assortment. And I think she'll like these. They look really yummy. She is also getting one of these um, little cake mix pouches and this is a brownie and a mug and I'm going to also be giving her one of these adorable mugs. It worked out perfect because I just so happened to have three of them with three kids so they're all going to have something fun for their little mugs. Then the card that I have for Emily and it just says daughter who needs chocolate on Valentine's Day. Hoping the day is as sweet as you are. So. I was really happy with these cards for only a dollar at Target and Walmart and all of those other places. Cards are like insanely expensive and basically you read it and then you maybe leave it out for a couple of days and then they go in the trash. So it's so wasteful, like such wasteful money. So I was happy to find some really cute ones at the Dollar Tree. Okay, so let me show you what I purchased for my husband, Jim. Typically, um, like I said, we don't exchange gifts, but I do usually pick him up a box of Reese's peanut butter cups or a heart-shaped box of Reese's peanut butter cups because that is his favorite candy. So I did get that for him. But in addition to that this year, I got him a Lion King shirt for our trip. It just says Hakuna Matata. 
and The Lion King is his favorite Disney movie, and it's his favorite Broadway show, and Animal Kingdom is his favorite park. He just loves all of that. And Hakuna Matata is one of our family's favorite sayings. We actually, we have a pontoon boat, and we actually named the boat Hakuna Matata. It means no worries for the rest of your days. <laughs> so um, it's just like an ongoing theme and saying in our family. So I thought that he would definitely wear this shirt, even though he's not big on wearing character shirts. I think uh, we can get away with that one. And then his card, it just says, husband, you hold the key to my heart. And then on the inside, it says, happy Valentine's Day to the man I love with all my heart. Again, from the Dollar Tree. So I noticed that his sunglasses, that I got him for Father's Day, like maybe five or six or even seven years ago, are so beat up and broken. And he wears them all the time, like the little nubs that go on your nose. One is missing and the lenses are all scratched up and they're just horrible. And I know like my sunglasses are really important to me. I have um, a few pairs of Maui gyms that I've collected like over the last decade. And I cannot leave the house without my sunglasses. I cannot drive without them. I can't go on vacation without them. Like they're really important to me. and. I know he wears his a lot too, and I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna get him sunglasses. So I went to the sunglass hut, and I got him a really nice pair of sunglasses, and he's really going to appreciate them because we're going to Florida very soon. So they come in this little pouch, and they are Oakley sunglasses, very basic black. I didn't wanna get anything too crazy for him. I know he likes very simple things, but um, they're really sturdy, and you can see like the nose nubby things on this one are pretty, stable they're not the kind that can like come off so I think he's going to really be happy with these and hopefully he appreciates having them on our upcoming trip so that is what I ended up getting for my husband for Valentine's Day this year I hope that this video helped to give you guys some ideas of what to get for your children or your significant other or a friend for Valentine's Day um, I know it's coming up close sorry this video is so late I really have have been procrastinating. There's just a lot of other things going on. So I haven't really been focusing on Valentine's Day, which is only a few days away. So if you're doing some last minute shopping, hopefully you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit that bell notification so that you can be notified every time I have a new and fun video to share. I have a lot of great content coming up, including sharing lots of Disney information if you are interested in that, um, you can follow me on Instagram at Jen's Happy Home because I will be probably posting daily on our trip and sharing that with you guys as well. I hope you all have a great Valentine's Day. Good luck shopping and I will see you real soon. Take care. Bye.